All right, guys, Tease Monkey back with another video. Today's video, we're going to talk about the energetic rhino beetle. And the reason we're going to talk about this is because when you complete all 120 shrines and you get that wild tunic set, one item along the lines of the upgrades requires these energetic rhino beetles. These can be kind of tricky to find if you don't know what you're doing. Um, so let's talk about what you need to know first off. First things first, these things are very skittish. So you're going to want to equip your stealth outfit here because you don't want to spook them. They spook very easily. Second thing is um, you want to do it at night. That's when they appear. It's at night time, so you're going to want to start your route at night. Another thing is... You're going to encounter wildlife and enemies on this route. So you want to take them out as soon as possible because the noise that the enemies make will also spook them. Especially in one area. You see right here I have these two areas marked. These are what we're going to hit. This area we're also going to hit here. In Rock Woods you will find a lot of Otoroks that pop up out of the ground. As soon as you see those, you're going to want to shoot them with your bow and kill them because they throw the rocks at you. And if you're near a beetle and one of those rocks hits you, that sound will actually spook the beetle. So take care of those. Take care of the deer, the boars that are all wandering around. It's going to be nighttime, so you're going to have skeletons popping up on you as well. Make sure you take those out with a quick shot of the bow to the head if you can. Just basically eliminate anything that's in your path because everything will spook these guys. So where we're at is up here at Skull Lake is where we're going to start. And we'll go over to this red spot. We'll get a couple there and we'll move to Rockwoods. Um, there'll be more here than the previous spot. But there is a lot of Atarox in that area, as I said before. So make sure you're clearing those out. And then thirdly, we'll go down here. To this yellow area this spot you need to be careful because about in the middle of all these trees right around in this area there is a lionel um, if you have the lionel mask you can throw the lionel mask on and just kind of work your way around the outer edge of the trees here and pick up the beetles um, also there's other little tree areas up in here that you'll find some as well maybe not as plentiful as these but it's worth just hitting them up real quick, grabbing a couple that are there. And then once you're done with that, you can shoot back up to this shrine and start again. Because I guarantee you're going to spook a couple. Um, they do come back fairly quick. So you can just keep running this little route all through in this area in the trees, picking them up and coming back. Just make sure you pay attention to what time of day it is. Make sure it's nighttime. The third thing is, is pay attention to the weather. Um, if it's thundering and lightning, you may want to just sleep through that cycle to where it's not lightning because thunder striking around you will also spook these things. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll just show you me picking up a few of these things and what you need to look for when you're approaching them. All right, so let's get started here. We're going to mark our first uh, three spots here. There, Rockwoods is properly named because there are Atarocks all over that place. So we got our spots marked. Let's check the time. It is morning. We do need to create a fire because you have to do this at night. This is when these things appear. Now remember, because we are doing this at night, we are going to run into the skeleton mobs. And as you see, as soon as we land in our first area, there's going to be a group of three of them that pop up. So be ready to take those guys out quickly. We're landing here at our first spot. Here come the skeletons. So we're going to get ready to take care of those. If you can shoot them in the head with your bow, that's the best deal because one shot to the head, then you don't have to deal with the heads falling off and then trying to kill the heads individually. But we'll take care of that mess. We've got our sensors set for these beetles. Mine's already going off. We're going to try to locate a couple of these here. Like I said, there's only a couple 
in this area there is the black Canox as well so watch out for him one thing to remember guys as you're doing this um, try to pay attention to the tree that you're picking these off of because that's the spot they go to when you come back for a second run through if you should happen to spook a couple as well you know they come back pretty fast so we'll just pick these up and now we're gonna head over to our next spot which is going to be rock woods it's right down off the edge here you can see all the trees as well same thing goes with this spot you're gonna get some skeleton mobs that pop up right away on you and this place is full of Otterox guys so pay attention to those as soon as you see rocks flying at you look around knock these dudes out of the way so you don't have to worry about it because they will scare off the beetles especially if you're close to one and they throw a rock at you and it hits you or hits the tree that the beetles on or anywhere around that so you want to get rid of these things kill out as many animals wildlife as possible uh, like i mentioned before in the caption in the beginning part um, it may work out better for you to go through this area kill off all the Otterox first so you don't have to worry about them and then re-sleep to another night cycle the beetles should come back if you spooked any in the process then you can come through here much faster and more efficiently pick up all these beetles without having to worry about the Otterox throwing their rocks at you and spooking these things off so just keep running around through this area um, as long as your sensor's going off and you're picking them up, clean out as many of the beetles here as you can, and then you'll get ready to move on to the third area. That little, um, prepare you for the third area, there is a Lionel down there, like I said before. So again, you may want to do that first and go take him out. You don't have to, you can get around and get the beetles without spooking him if you have the Lionel mask so just be ready when you're heading to the third area if you don't plan to kill him throw that Lionel mask on and just stay on the outside ring as you'll see when we get down there um, all these beetles down by the Lionel are around the outer tree line of him there is one that's kind of out in the middle so if you leave the Lionel out there you may not be able to get it without spooking him so let's head on down that way and check it out. As you see our time, we ran out of nighttime here, so we're going to need to start a fire and repeat the night cycle because these things do not appear during the day. They're much easier to find at nighttime. So we've slept off our timer there. It's now 9 p.m. We're gonna head down to this Lionel. This is our final area. And we're going to hit up all these beetles down in this area as well. Now that we're at the final area, we spotted the Lionel. So we're going to go ahead and throw our Lionel mask on just so we don't grab his attention. Because if we do grab his attention, he's going to start firing arrows at us, which is then going to spook all these beetles that we're running around, which we do not want to handle. So once again, if you have the Lionel mask, just throw that on, stick around this outside edge, working in a kind of counterclockwise pattern here, and you should get several beetles if you follow this path that I'm running right now. I've ran this several times before shooting this video to see where these beetles show up, and pretty much they always show up on these same trees. So if you're doing this, pay attention to where you're picking these off the trees, that way you can get to them faster. And it's easier to find these because with the sensor it's kind of hard with these things being on the tree because you may have a hard hit on the sensor taking you straight to one and then all of a sudden that sensor is gone because you passed it and it was on the other side of the tree you're just going to continue around this circle picking up the beetles till you feel like you've got them all your sensor's not going out and marking any more for you you can venture off to the side a little bit. Just pretty much any trees in this area is going to uh, net you some beetles. But these three areas are the best ones to go to to get a lot of them in a little area. 
that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope it helped you out. I hope it helped you ease some of the frustration if you were having trouble trying to figure out where to get these beetles, how to do it. Just remember, it's got to be nighttime. You put on that uh, stealth outfit because these things spook very, very easily. And that's it. Get as many as you need. Upgrade that wild tunic set and be done with it. If this video helped you guys out, smash that like button. Drop a comment in the comment section as I do reply to the comments. Don't forget to subscribe as that way you will find out when my videos go live. When I'm live streaming, I do a lot of live streams. Stop on by, say hi. We like to have fun over in the live streams. So I hope to see you guys there. Until next time, this is Tease Monkey. Peace and chicken grease.